With all the economic uncertainty right now, one thing that is certain, bills, making ends meet during a pandemic can be challenging. So we've created the Rebound Green Country to help you with advice to keep your bills paid and your budget afloat. Two works for you is Aaron Conrad shows us how. Homework. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have homework. Yeah, we have quite a few. <laughs> Quite a bit of homework to mm. do. Will Brown and Curticia Burrell aren't talking about schoolwork. They graduated from college a few years ago, but now that they're engaged and planning a wedding, their homework involves budgeting for their new life together. We're understanding, you know, what exactly do we need and what are just kind of wants, what are some things that are wasteful. Creating an itemized budget is the first piece of advice the couple got from money coach Al Riddick, author of the book The Uncommon Millionaire. Financial success begins with behavior. For those struggling with job loss or reduced income, his advice, negotiate lower minimum credit card payments. If there has been an interruption in your income, you might not be able to afford making the minimum payment. So I would be very proactive so far as reaching out to the company that issued me the credit card. That leads to Riddick's next point while talking to creditors. But I would also ask as a second question, uh, will you not report this to TransUnion, Equifax, or um, uh, Experian as me making a late payment? You as a client or customer do not want to uh, lower your credit score during this time, if at all you can't avoid it. Another tip, right now you can actually access up to $100,000 from your 401k. Riddick says, don't do it. We tend to think that that money, uh, it's easy money. No, that is not easy money. That is money that is easily accessed, but it is not money that is easily replaced. But Riddick says you can actually save money right now because of less spending on things like gas and going to eat out. Burrell says she's saving more. I kind of started putting any extra dollars that I had that I knew I could probably spend towards food or something unnecessary. I began to just place it in my savings. Which definitely helps when you're planning a wedding or coping with the economic uncertainties of COVID-19. Aaron Conrad. Two works for you.